Chelsea fell to their first loss of the new Premier League season as they were beaten 2-0 by Liverpool at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. Andreas Christensen's red card just before halftime completely altered the course of the game with Sadio Mane scoring a brace in the second half to maintain the champion's 100% record. Stream ESPN FC Daily on ESPN Plus, US only. ESPN Plus Viewer's Guide, Bundesliga, Serie A, MLS, FA Cup and more predict results in ESPN's English Soccer Pick'em. There was a clear and obvious game plan from the word go, sit behind the ball and hope for the best whenever they had a sniff going forward. For large portions of the first half that ideology was boding well for them as they kept Liverpool out and did the simple things well. At times in the first half, you could even argue they were the ones controlling the narrative in the middle of the park. The issue with such a pessimistic style of play is that you aren't going to earn many fans from it, and when it doesn't go well, they'll let you know why. There was no urgency whatsoever from the hosts to the point where it felt like they weren't playing with any forwards at all. The Blues struggled against the counter, they surrendered any kind of hope in the possession game and they didn't really have a cohesive understanding of their own formation once Liverpool really got going. Another error from Kepa Aritha Balaga added insult to injury. Manager rating out of 105, they may not have quite tucked 10 men behind the ball, but Frank Lampard needs to accept some kind of responsibility for the utterly abysmal attacking display that Chelsea put out this afternoon. He took a risk in not following in the footsteps of Leeds' approach to playing Liverpool and the former England international appeared to botch his instructions for both Mason Mount and N'Golo Conte, both of whom seemed largely confused at what their roles were supposed to be. Player ratings, 1-10. 10. 10 equals best, players introduced after 70 minutes get no rating, GK Kepa Aritha Balaga. 4. His alertness was called into question early on, and in the second half, he proved why Chelsea are looking around for a new keeper after he gifted the ball to Liverpool for the goal that made it 2-0. D.F. Rhys James, 5, the young prospect exhibited real confidence in his tackling but as the game went on his composure faded, with the nail in the coffin being his poor tracking for the opening goal. D.F. Andreas Christensen, 4, the Dane went from a steady enough performance after reading the ball well on a handful of plays to complete disaster as he dragged Sadio Mane to the ground with a rugby tackle to earn himself a red card just before halftime. D.F. Kurt Zoma, 6, he may not be the most technical player in the world but Zoma was efficient with his energy, showed good timing and didn't make many errors whatsoever.